So guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, hold on guys, I'm getting a phone call. Who could be calling Cody? He doesn't have friends. I know, right? Hello? Really? Oh my god! Oh, what's wrong, Cody? My parents just died in a car accident. Oh no! It's terrible! Oh. Cody, I'm so sorry! What, what can we do for you? April Fool's! Ah, that was a good one, Cody! Oh man, he had me. Yeah, you really got us, Cody. Yeah. But you guys, I have a secret to tell you. What? I drink my own blood. Wait, you drink your own blood? Yeah, I think I'm a vampire. All I want to do is drink blood. I'm just a vampire. Oh my god. <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> it's a fruit punch bottle. Oh, thank God. Yeah, for a second there, I thought it was actually blood. Uh, it is blood. It's just in a fruit punch bottle. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey, Cody. Yeah. There's something I've always been wanting to tell you. Yeah. I love you, <laughs> and I really want to kiss you on that big pebble-filled mouth of yours. Really? Yeah. Can you can you just please do me a favor and kiss me one time? Oh, okay. All right, let's kiss. Mm, hey, bro, <laughs> ah! I don't want to kiss your ugly face. <laughs> he fell for it, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so, um, all right, guys, I think that's enough April Fool's jokes for today, okay? So, can we, let's, let's just watch TV. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, um, where's the remote? Where is the remote? Uh, Cody, can you get it? It's behind the couch. Oh, okay. I, I don't see it. Hey, bro, <laughs> You're an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> yeah, why'd you think it was behind the couch? <laughs> well, you know, that was just kind of annoying. Okay, can you actually grab the remote for me, though? Well, where is it? It's on the floor right there. I dropped it. Okay. Junior, I don't see it. Hey, bro, bro! Bro, bro, again! Idiot! Junior, come on! Oh, okay, no, seriously, can you grab the remote? It's, it's between the cushions. But is it really? Yeah, look, look, I, I just can't reach it. Can you grab it for me? Okay, better be under here. Junior, it's not... Hey, bro, bro! Dummy, dude. Idiot, idiot, idiot. You know what, Junior? I'm not looking for the remote anymore. <sighs> Joseph, can you grab the remote for me? Okay, where is it, dude? It's behind that pillow. Okay. Yeah. Hey, bro, oh, man, I'm a dummy now. Ah! Junior, just stop it. Oh, okay, seriously, seriously. It's, it's, in the, it's in the bathroom by the sink. No, no, I'm not looking for it. Uh, Joseph's in the bathroom by the sink. Okay, I get it. Uh, dude, I don't see it here. Okay, okay, seriously, I'll go, I'll go get her. All right, guys, I got the remote. Guys, the remote's dead. Really? Try it. Okay. Well, Junior, it works fine. Hey, Mama! <laughs> That's not even really. Ow! Junior, lying and hitting people are not April Fool's pranks. Yeah, they are. What? Let's just watch the news. Breaking news, okay? NASA has an urgent message right now. Let's go to the press conference. Hey there, it's me, a guy from NASA. So uh, we have some pretty scary news. Uh, it seems that there's a meteor that is going to come to Earth, and in the next 10 minutes, it's going to kill everybody in the world. So uh, we apologize for the short notice. What? The world ending? Oh no! Oh, there's so many things I haven't done yet, like milk a cow. Milk a cow? Yeah. That was the one thing you wanted to do? Yeah, everybody wants to milk a cow. Who doesn't? We can call Cody's mom over so he can do it real quick. Oh, shit bird! Yeah, well, I'll never be able to hear Junior apologize for all the jokes he's made about my mom. Because they're not jokes, it's the truth. Your mom's fat. I'll never get to see your mom lose weight. April Fools! <laughs> Come on, you didn't really think we were going to get killed by a meteor, right? Like, would I be this cop? Come on, you guys are dumb. <sighs> Even NASA's doing April Fool's jokes. I want to do an April Fool's joke on Chef Pee-Pee. Yeah, dude, we got to do a good one on him. Ooh, I got an idea. Let's shoot him in the eye with this Nerf toy. Oh, that's a good idea, dude. Right? Ow, Junior, that's not really a prank. That's that's just assault. It's going to be funny. I'm going to shoot him in the eye, and he's going to go, ow, I'm blind. I'm going to say April Fool's. <laughs> well, how about we do a less painful prank like this whoopee cushion? A whoopee cushion? Yeah, when he sits on it, it'll go, <laughs> and it'll sound like he farted. What are we, five? Oh, I just thought it'd be funny. What, what, what are we, five years old? Little baby wanna use his whoopee cushion? Oh, little baby Cody like that? Little baby Cody wanna use, make a little fart joke? Oh, look at little baby Cody. Wants to use a silly little whoopee cushion. Would, would baby like that? Would little baby Cody like to use stupid little fart whoopee cushion? Oh, yeah, I think uh, so. Come on, baby Cody. Come on, baby, go, go, grab, grab your stupid whoopee cushion. Okay. Grab your little baby whoopee cushion. Let's go prank shopping with your little fart, stupid, dumb whoopee cushion baby toy. Okay, jeez. <laughs> All right, guys, there's Chef Pee-Pee. All right, little, little baby. How are you going to get him to sit on your little poopy cushion? You know, Junior, I'm kind of not wanting to do this anymore. What? You don't want to do it anymore? What's wrong with the little baby? You want to make a little poopy joke. Well, you keep calling me a widow baby, and it makes me not want to do it. Because your prank is a stupid idea. And how are you going to get him to sit on the whoopee cushion? I don't know. Well, I got an idea. Come on. All right, little baby Cody. Chef Pee, Pee takes naps here all the time. So when he takes a nap, he's going to lay on it. It's going to fart. And you're going to laugh at your little five-year-old fart joke. Well, how are you going to get him to lay down? Well, I'm going to pretend to be my dad and tell him he can go on break. And then when he comes to lay down on his break, and you're going to laugh at his little stupid joke. Okay. All right. Okay, there's Chef Pee, Pee cleaning. I just got to sound like my dad. 
Hey, uh, Chef BB, uh, you can go on break. You've done a lot of hard work lately. What? A break? Oh my god, I never get breaks. Okay, thanks, boss. <laughs> okay, guys, let's watch Chef BB sit on the whoopee cushion. Oh man, I am so tired. I can't wait to take a nap. Wait, what? A whoopee cushion? I can't believe Junior actually thought I would fall for that. I'm not stupid. Oh, <laughs> it's April Fool's Day. I totally forgot. You know what? I'm gonna play a joke on him. <laughs> I'm gonna make him think I actually died. I'm gonna sit on the whoopee cushion and uh, uh yeah, he's gonna think I had a heart attack. <laughs> I'm a genius. Uh, oh man, I am so tired. Oh, I can't wait to sit on this couch. You know what? I hope there's not a whoopee cushion on here. Oh my God! Oh, my heart! My heart! Oh, I'm dying! I think I just had a heart attack. Oh! <laughs> Oh no! Chef Pee Pee had a heart attack! <laughs> well, like a fart attack. This is no time for jokes, Cody! Your joke killed Chef Pee Pee! Well, I didn't think the whoopee cushion would kill him. Maybe that's why people don't use whoopee cushions anymore, because they're deadly. You wanted to shoot him in the eye. It would've just blinded him, dude. You had to be selfish. Yeah, would you rather be blind or dead? Hmm, well, I don't know, actually. What do we do with Chef Pee Pee? I think we should call a doctor. No! We can't call a doctor, because me, you, and especially Joseph are gonna go to jail. Yeah, it's true. That's the times we're living in. Yeah. Cody, why'd you have to kill Chef Pee Pee? I didn't want to kill Chef Pee Pee. Besides, you're the one who put the whoopee cushion there. But it was your evil mastermind murder plan that did it. I didn't do anything, so I'm out of here, dude. Yeah, be safe, Joseph. He can't get caught. He'll go to jail, definitely. Uh, okay, so what do we do with Chef Pee Pee? I think we bury him. What, bury him? Yeah, we bury him in the backyard as deep as we can so no one ever finds him. Wait, really? Yeah. Junior, if we get caught, we're going to jail. And my loose butt will last in prison. It will? Oh, yeah, it'll last for a long time. And as much as I'd enjoy it, I'm claustrophobic and I don't want to live in a cell. Do you think there's Fortnite in jail? Probably not, Junior. Otherwise, everybody would be doing crimes. Yeah, okay. So let's go grab a box and bury Chef Pee in the backyard. Okay. <laughs> Chef Pee in a box now. A shoe box? It's the only box I have. <sighs> he looks so peaceful. I miss Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, he's burning macaroni and cheese in heaven now. Are you sure he's in heaven? What do you mean? He might be in hell. What, really? Why? He was a really bad person. He liked to push old ladies downstairs. Oh my god, that's terrible. I never did that. What? Did you hear that? April Fools! He didn't do that. Oh, thank god. I thought Chef Pee was a bad person there for a second. Chef Pee not a bad person. He just didn't know how to cook. Oh yeah. He sucked at cooking. Oh, terrible. Awful. The worst food I've ever tasted. Disgusting. Oh, if he makes food for God, he's gonna go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go bury Chef Pee in the backyard. In the backyard. Like a, like a hamster. Yeah, like, like a hamster. All right, Cody, let's go bury Chef Pee Pee. Well, we need a shovel, Junior. Oh, I got a shovel, come on. <laughs> oh man, they're about to start burying me. And soon as they start throwing dirt on me, I'm gonna bust out of this box and they're gonna think I'm a zombie. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. All right, Cody, the shovel's in here. Wait, 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 Junior. What? We should duct tape the box closed. Wh why? Well, because we don't want bugs to eat Chef Pee Pee's gorgeous body. You're right! If we don't duct tape the box shut, then bugs will be able to eat them and eat his brains. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. All right, so grab some duct tape while I grab the shovel. Okay. All right, Cody, start taping the box up. Yeah, Junior, I'm really glad we decided to listen to loud rock music in these headphones. It really distracts from how tragic this whole thing is. Yeah, start taping. Okay. Wait, what's that noise? Are they taping the box shut? Guys, let me out! I'm alive! I'm alive! Let me out! Yeah, this song rocks. Yeah, well, you're shaking the box a lot, Cody. I'm oh, sorry. Hey, it's shaking a lot. <laughs> Stop! All right, I think it's good, Junior. All right, let's go bury him. Okay. Okay. There's Chef Pee Pee in the ground. Yeah, this is what he would have wanted. All right, start burying him, Cody. Got it. Okay. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Guys, this isn't funny. Stop burying me alive, guys. This isn't funny. This isn't funny. Stop burying me. Please, please, please. Stop, stop it right now. Yeah, I did how to hold him. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Do you have anything nice to say about him? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, he, uh, he... He, he could burn water. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had a nice butt, I guess. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, um Chef Pee Pee, you were my chef for a lot of years. You helped me grow up to be the man that I'm going to be one day. Probably going to go to prison. Yeah. I love you, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> oh, Cody. I miss Chef Pee Pee. Yeah. I'll never forgive you for killing my chef. Well, oh, I'm sorry he died from a fart. I mean, he would have died just as easily from being shot in the eye. Who's at the door? I don't know. I'm gonna go answer the door. Hello? Ah! Hey, 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 
kid, it's okay. Cops aren't scary. We're your friends. Okay, what are you doing here? Oh, is Chef Pee-Pee home? Well, why? why? Why Chef Pee-Pee? Well, why are you asking for him? Well, I found his wallet, and I want to return it to him. I can give it to him. Just give it to me. I can give it to him. No, no. Legally, it has to be me that returns it. Why? Why? I live with him. He trusts me. I can give it to him. Well, but you might steal it, so it's got to be me. No, I'm not going to steal it. Chef Pee-Pee loves me, and, and I know all the things about him. So if you just give me the wallet, I can give it to him. No, no, no. That's fine. Just, just where, where is he? Where, where's Chef Pee-Pee? Yeah. Uh, he's underground, working, he, he's working underground, he works on the Underground Railroad. The, the Underground Railroad? Yeah, in New York City, on the subway, he works on, on those railroad tracks. Well, okay, well that's not what that is. So just give me the wallet and I'll give it to him when he gets back. H hold on, something weird's going on here. Chef Pee Pee, he's a chef, not a train conductor. This, this is kind of strange, maybe I should come in and have a look around. No, 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 no. okay, okay, look, I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. Chef Pee Pee was murdered. What, really? Yeah, by my friend Cody, and he's trying to cover it up. He, here's what happened. Uh, Cody wanted to do an April Fool's joke on him, and, and he put a whoopee cushion on the couch, and Chef Pee Pee sat on it, and it farted so loud, Chef Pee Pee had a heart attack, and then we buried his body in a shoebox in the backyard. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. It's an April Fool's prank. Very good. No, 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 no it's not an April Fool's joke. It's real. It, it really happened. Chef Pee Pee's dead. I can take it to the body right now. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Well, that was pretty good, kid. I almost fell for that. But next time, make the death a little less ridiculous, because dying from a heart attack after you sit on a whoopee cushion, that's that's not believable. It really happened, though. His body's in the backyard right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're taking the joke too far, so, so just forget it. But, but you know, I gotta tell you, I was actually gonna pull a prank on Chef Pee Pee, because this isn't even his wallet. This is my wallet. I was going to give it to him and say, April Fools, that's not really a wallet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good one. So uh, have a good night. Well, no, no, no. It's, that's not a joke. It's real. I'm trying to admit to a crime. <sighs> oh. Who's at the door, Junior? Uh, uh, the cops. The cops, huh? You didn't snitch on me, did you? Because if you did, I'll kill you. No, 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 no. I didn't tell him anything. Liar. Oh, no. I heard you. You told him I killed Chef Pee Pee. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. Who's that? I don't know, but I'm coming with you in case it's the cops so I can tell them my side of the story. Oh, uh, don't bring that. Don't, don't bring don't bring the toy. Fine. Yeah, they'll think it's real. Hello? I am going to kill you! Ah, Chef Pee Pee's a zombie! Ah! I'm not a zombie. I was playing a prank on you to make you think I was dead and you decided to bury me in the backyard. What? Is, so it was an April Fool's prank? Yes, it was an April Fool's prank! That was a pretty good one. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> All right, guys, you ready to play superheroes? Oh, yeah, dude, but I'm the Joker. I'm Batman. I want to be Batman. No, Cody, I'm always Batman. You have to be someone else. Be Robin. I don't want to be stupid, stinky, ugly, dumb Robin. Okay, well, then go choose someone, but you can't be Batman. Oh, uh, Junior, you have another Batman. We can both be Batman. We both can't be Batman, Cody. There's only one Batman. Yeah, that's against the rules, dude. Yeah, it's against the rules. Y yeah, we can. Uh, look, hey, Batman, it's me, other Batman. No, you're one of those dumb Batmans that work on Times Square. What? Well, okay, Cody, look, we can both be Batman, but you're the uh, you're the Ben Affleck Batman. I'm Christian Bale. Well, I don't want to be Ben Affleck Batman. He was fat. Okay, well, then don't be Batman at all. Go be Mexican Superman. But, Junior, you always make me be Mexican Superman. Mexican Superman's the coolest. Yeah, Mexican Superman's awesome, dude. He always saves the day right in time to make it to his daughter's quinceanera. Yeah, he's so awesome. All right, let's get this over with. Okay. <sighs> hey, I'm the bad guy, Joker. You can't beat me. Meeting Batman. Oh, well, you don't understand who I have as my secret weapon. Who? Come on, say your thing. <sighs> so you Mexican Superman. <gasps> oh, no, not Mexican Superman with Batman. My two arch nemesis, I'm outnumbered. Yes, and you don't understand what he has up his sleeve. Say it. <sighs> hot plate. <gasps> not a hot plate. Oh, no, that's my weakness. Yeah, now hit him with the Baja Blast. <gasps> you. Oh, Baja Blast. Oh, I'm melting, I'm melting. And now you better get out of here before he gets the Gordita Crunch. Oh, not the Gordita Crunch! Yay, we saved the day! Arriba. All right, you want to watch TV or something? Oh, yeah. All right, let's watch TV. Hey there, have you ever wondered if you were related to someone famous? Well, now you can find out. Just call me at 1-800-FAMOUS-DNA-TESTERS.COM and I'll personally come to your house and tell you who you're related to. You might even be related to Jeff Bezos. Maybe he owes you some money. Maybe maybe you're like a long lost kid of his or something. Come find out. Oh, guys, 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 I want to get DNA tested. I want to see what famous person I'm related to. I don't know, Junior, that place looks like a scam. Yeah, I want to get tested too. Uh, I bet I'm related to Abraham Lincoln. Oh, that'd be so cool. I know, right? I bet I'm related to George Washington Carver. Ooh. Who's that? The guy who invented peanut butter, duh. Oh, well, why would you be related to him? Because he's smoother than peanut butter, duh. 
Uh, yeah, Cody, who do you think you're related to? A dork? <laughs> Dr. Dork? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Robert E. Dork? <laughs> Professor Dork with a degree? Uh, yeah, yeah, Ulysses S. Dork? <laughs> Captain Dork with the ship? Yeah, yeah, Elon Musk, Musky Dork? <laughs> yeah. Dork Dorky Dorky? Yeah, I Dorky? <laughs> My life as a teenage dork bot? Yeah. These are just TV shows. Uh, uh, a dork and Josh? <laughs> Uh, I dorky. Oh man, dorky. Uh, ima dorks, imaginary home for dorks. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, a cat dork. South dork. Uh, South dork. Uh, family dork. Uh, a cinnamon toast dork. Uh, Rick and dorky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a do a dorks. A bunch of. Do oh, ooh, ooh, uh, um, I got one. Uh, this, 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 the dork life of, of Zach and Dorky. Oh, on deck. On uh, deck. On deck. Okay, I will get DNA tested just so I can prove I'm not a dork. Oh uh, yeah, let's call a doctor so we get DNA tested. <laughs> dork. Hey there, somebody call a doctor to get DNA tested? Yeah, we saw the commercial and we want to do the test to see who we're related to. Oh, it's really fun. You never know who you'll be related to. Like I did it, and my great grandmother was Amelia Earhart. Really? Yeah, yeah. It explains why I'm so good at hide and seek and so bad at flying planes. So how do we do it? Well, you see these DNA sample tubes? Yeah. Well, you just take some bodily fluid and put it in the tube. Okay, so like, I can spit in it? Yeah, sure, or whatever else. It doesn't really matter. Ooh, can I poop in it? Yeah, sure, why not? Yes. Oh, I know what I'm putting in there. All right, so uh, after we put the stuff in there, then what happens? I right, just run it back to the lab, then I'll have your results by the next scene. Okay, I'm going to spit in mine. <laughs> Time to poop. Oh, man, guys, I can't wait for our test results to be ready. All right, your test results are ready. They're ready? Are they cool? Oh, they're cool. All right, Cody, we're going to start with you. The most famous person you're related to is Thomas Edison. Whoa, no way, dude. Oh, that's so sick. Who am I related to? You, you're related to Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, the first man on the moon. I knew I knew a lot about space. Whoa, an astronaut, dude. Oh, I know, it's so cool. Oh. Okay, Joseph, you're related. Martin Luther King. Oh, oh man, I always knew I had a dream. I dream every night. No, no, not quite, but close. Osborne Dorsey. Uh Who's that? He's the inventor of the doorknob. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm always good with, you know, turning doorknobs. Yep, you have fun with that information. Oh, this is so cool! All right, guys, can we just admit that I'm related to the coolest person ever, Neil frickin' Armstrong? No, Edison is cooler because he invented the light bulb. Without him, we'd be in the dark right now. No, because if Edison wouldn't have invented it, somebody else would have invented the light bulb. Dude, the only way you would have been able to get inside your house today is because of my boy Dorsey. Well, no, because then Walmart invented those automatic doors. What? Yes, yeah, so we don't even need doorknobs. We don't even need him. See, 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 Neil Armstrong, he discovered the moon. He didn't discover the moon, Junior. He just went there. Yeah, and they say the first person to go on land discovered that land. So he was the first person on the moon. So he discovered the moon. And he got there with his cool spaceship. He flew there, landed, he got out, and then he danced on the moon. Dude, he wouldn't be able to get out of his spaceship without a doorknob. Well, he wouldn't be able to see the doorknob without a light bulb. Well, he, he wouldn't have been able to go to the moon if he wouldn't have discovered the moon in the first place. Dude, you use doorknobs for anything. No. No, no, you use light bulbs more because you use them every day. Uh, have you ever heard of a candle? Well, 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 well the, the moon lights up the sky at night. So, so, because without the moon, it would, uh... It would be. It would be dark. Yeah, without light bulbs. No, without the moon. We knew. It's, 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 Look, you wouldn't even know it was nighttime until you opened the doorknob. Well, no, no, no. You would. You wouldn't know. Well, actually, there's windows. See, Bill Gates invented windows, so you could look out the window. So we don't even need the doorknob. Who cares? But without doorknobs, we wouldn't even have knock knock jokes. Ha, that's better. Or well, without light bulbs, you wouldn't even be able to see who's at the door to answer it. Well, without without the moon, you wouldn't know it was nighttime, so you know not to answer the door because not scary people come at night or fans who don't know the rules. So 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 that. Yeah, and see, without the moon, we wouldn't have waves. And without waves, we wouldn't have ships that would bring you materials to make your stupid light bulbs and to make your stupid doorknobs. So, so actually, you know what, Cody? I'm suing you. But why? I'm suing you because Thomas Edison got the idea for a light bulb by looking at the moon. Because he went outside and he said, ooh, I like that little light in the sky. Ooh, ooh I, I want to make one for my own. So he made a light bulb based on the moon. So I'm suing you. Yeah, yeah I'm suing you too, Cody, because there's no way Mr. Edison could make his light bulb without opening a door from Mr. Dorsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 see, 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 so Cody, you owe Joseph money. Well, actually, Joseph, you owe Cody money because, because without the light bulb, Dorsey wouldn't have been able to make a doorknob without light. Nah, 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 we had candles, bro, we had candles. Oh, yeah, yeah, candles. Okay, so, so, Cody, yeah, you owe both of us money. Well, I'm not giving either of you money. Well, we don't need your stupid, dumb light bulbs, Cody. Well, okay, I'll just take away all the light bulbs in your house and see how you like it. We don't need them because we have the moon to light up everything. Nobody's going to need doorknobs, then. Yeah, we don't need that either because I just have a door, I can just push the door open. I don't need a doorknob, that's dumb. I, I like Walmart automatic doors. I'm lazy. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna take the moon away. And then what were y'all gonna do when y'all can't see at night? Oh man, this is such a huge mess. It's gonna take forever to clean up. Wait, what happened to the lights? 
Oh, it must have been a power outage. Uh, hey, Chef Pee Pee. Wait, C Cody, what are you doing? Uh, do you know if there are any more light bulbs in the house? Wait, 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 why are you stealing our light bulbs? Oh, I'm not stealing these, I own these. My great-great-grandfather was Thomas Edison. Look, I don't care who your great-grandfather is, put my light bulbs back! And tell that to Junior, he thinks Thomas Edison didn't do anything. What? Look, put my light bulbs back! And done. I just finished my Apollo 11 Lego sculpture, so I'm just like my great-great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong. What, what happened to the lights? Hey, Junior. What are you doing here, Cody? Well, I'm just collecting all of my light bulbs that my great-great-grandfather invented. Wait, wait, you stole my light bulbs? Oh, I'm not stealing them. Since my great-great-grandfather invented them, they're mine. Well, well, I was building my Apollo 11 Lego sculpture. See, look, there's me, and there's my great-great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong. See, see, um, I, I didn't see any light bulbs on the Apollo 11. Yeah, that's great. Well, I'm gonna just take all of these light bulbs back to my house, where I'll have all the light. Well, well, when you're walking home, guess what's gonna help you light up the streets when you get home? Uh, the moon. Well, there are also street lights. And guess what's in those street lights? Light bulbs! Well, well, you're dumb and, and stupid. Ugh, Joseph, get out of my way. Uh, 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 where do you think you're going? Home. Uh, home? Where? Through this door? You know you gotta use this circular thing. What's it called again? A doorknob. Can I please use the doorknob? I guess so. For a thousand dollars, and if you praise my great granddad, Dorsey. Well, I don't have a thousand dollars. Well, get an appraisal. Hey, Cody, bring me back my light bulbs. Oh, now you want them. I thought they were useless. Well, they are useless, but I bought them, so they're technically mine now. Uh, look at that. I forgot one. Hold on. Well, no, Cody, don't grab. Don't don't light. do it. Oh, oh, come on, Cody. That's better. Well, well, at least you can't get through this door. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Junior, I'm going out your window. Well, well, uh, peasant! So, so where are you going now, Cody? I'm going home. Well, the whole walk home, you better not ever look up. If you ever look up at the moon, you owe me $100. Okay, fine. I don't want to look at the moon. I've seen it before. You better not ever look up. Don't look up. I'm not. Don't look up. Junior, I'm not looking at the moon. You better not look up. <sighs> Junior, are you going to follow me all the way home? Yeah, because I don't want you to look up at the moon because that's my moon. That's my great-grandfather's moon. You can't look at it. Okay. If you look at it, you owe me $100. I'm not going to look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Oh, my God, Cody. Like, if there was a time to look at it, you should look at it now. It's the most beautiful full moon in the world right now. Oh, oh, Cody, look, there's a man on the moon. Junior, there's no man on the moon. There was. My great-grandfather, Neil Armstrong, he was on the moon. That was the man on the moon, the only man on the moon, and that's why I own the moon, and you better not look at it or you owe me $100. Junior, shut up. It's the most beautiful moon in the world. Like, if you want to look at it, you can pay me $100. I don't care, Junior. Like, this walk home would be so boring if you didn't have the moon right there. That big, beautiful moon brightening up the streets. Junior, I'm not looking at it. it but you better not look at it. You better not look at it. I'm not going to look at it. Are you sure? Yes. It's so, so pretty. Okay, I'll let you look at it one time. No. I'll let you, free, for free. You can look at it one time. No, I don't even want to now. Look at it for free, like one time. Shut up, Junior. Go away. Junior, you broke all my light bulbs. Well, they technically weren't your light bulbs. They were mine because I bought them. Junior, you owe me so much money now. Well, no, I don't. Just because you invented them doesn't mean that I don't own them if I buy them. Like, I'll sell you a piece of the moon. How about that? No, Junior, I don't care. I don't want to see you right now. Well, no, I'll, I'll sell you one piece of the moon if you stop getting mad. God, I can't stand Junior. I, I uh, where do you think you're going, Cody? In my house. Oh, in your house? Don't you think you have to use a doorknob? Well, well yeah, but jo Joseph, this is ridiculous. This is my house. But this is my doorknob, a Dorsey doorknob. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll use a window. <laughs> Get the climbing. <sighs> guess I'm just going to sit on my couch with no light. Well, you know what? I do have light. I have the moon, and it's just the, the roof is blocking the moon. But I don't need stupid dumb light bulbs. They're dumb. Hey, uh, wait, why is it so dark in here? Oh, my friend's great-great-grandfather was, uh, uh, the inventor of light bulbs, so he took all my light bulbs. Oh, yeah, about that. I have an important update about your DNA test results. Uh, can you get your friends back here? I can try, but they're really mad at me. Yeah, uh, just so you know, there's also a guy who's over by your front door charging people a thousand dollars to use his doorknob. <sighs> That's Joseph. Joseph, get up here! Get Cody! What is it, Junior? The doctor says he has to tell us something. What do you want, dude? <sighs> Cody, can we please have a light bulb just while you're here? Okay, but you only get one. <sighs> All right, doctor, what'd you have to tell us? Well, it uh, looks like the test results I gave you before were wrong. Wrong? Wait, I'm not related to Neil Armstrong? No. Well, well, well Cody's not really related to Thomas Edison? Nope. Well, well, Joseph's not related to Dorsey? No. Well, then who are we related to? Well, I got your real test results right here. Let's start with Joseph. You are related to Michelangelo. Oh, dude, that's awesome! I always wanted to be a Ninja Turtle, and I already lived in sewers. <laughs> yeah, and Junior, you are related to Crush from Finding Nemo. I mean, that's still pretty cool. Like, what's up, Jelly Man? What's up, Jelly Man? Hey, Jelly Man. Hey, Jelly Man. And you, Cody, are related to Vern from Over the Hedge. Vern! <laughs> <laughs> Vern! 
<laughs> over the head. <laughs> I hope you haven't seen that movie. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> you guys have fun with that information. All right, guys. Do we even have to discuss who's related to the cooler turtle? Dude, it's me. I'm a ninja. No, it's me. He rode the East Australian current. No one else did that. Well, I went over the hedge. <laughs> Went over the head. Bird. Bird. What type of So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know, dude. Well, I figured we could do something with this thing. Ooh, what is that? This is my human Ray. Where is he? What do you mean? You said there's a human named Ray. I don't see him. Yeah, Ray, show yourself. Ray, where are you? No, no, this is Ray. No, that's a toy. What? No, this is my human Ray. That's not a human. What? No, it's a Ray. I'm a junior. And I am a Joseph. No, guys, I mean, okay, fine. This is my human laser. A human laser? What's it do? Well, it turns objects into humans. That's so cool. Oh, well, you should call it something else, like... Call it like a human turner into her. Ooh, dude, I like that. Yeah. It sounds fancy. It sounds yeah. French. Yeah, human turner into her really rolls off the tongue. Yeah, you're like, this is my human turner into her. her, her, her. Yeah, I'll buy it. Yeah, okay, sure. So, uh, you're gonna, what are you gonna turn into a human? I'm gonna try to turn Ken into a human. So you're admitting he's a doll? No. no. I knew it. Yeah, he's a doll now. He's totally a doll. No, he's not a doll. He's just kind of plasticky, and I want him to be more human. Like a doll. So how are you gonna turn him into a human? Well, with, with this, with the, the human ray. It's not a human ray. No, it's a human turn her into her. Fine. I like that. I like that name more. Okay, so turn Ken into a human then. Okay, stand back. I don't know what this thing's gonna do. You said it's gonna turn him into a human. Well, I mean that's what I want it to do, but there might be an explosion or something. I don't oh, okay. Know. Okay, Ken. Get ready to turn into a human. <laughs> He's a cat. He's supposed to be a human. Yeah, I know, Junior. But you turned him into a cat! Ken, come back! <laughs> He was supposed to be a human, but you turned him into a cat! Dude, how did you mess that up? Yeah, dork! I don't know. Oh, dude, turn me into a cat! Turn me into a cat! Yeah, turn Joseph into a cat! No, no more turning people into cats! But Jason Derulo was a cat! Yeah, I know, he was Rum Tum Tugger, but we're not doing that right now! Aww. Well, how do you think you messed up your machine? I don't know, I must have messed up when I was calibrating it and set it to turn people into cats. When you were calibrating it? Don't you mean when you were caterbrating it? <laughs> cat joke. Yeah. <sighs> my body hurts. I actually prefer Ken to be a cat, because at least he's alive. Oh, it's a bird! Yeah, bird! I got him! No, no, the things I do to Ken, I couldn't do those to a cat. Ew. Well, he has nine lives. No, Junior. Well, I actually prefer Ken to be a cat, too, because now his name can be Kitty Cat! Oh, like, Kitty Cat! Like, here, Kitty, 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 Kitty! Mom, Mom, like, like, not Kitty Cat, but Kenny Cat, because it's Ken in it. No, no, we're not doing that, because we're going to find him and turn him back to do a doll. <gasps> You just admitted he's a doll! Oh, oh no, he's no. a doll! Hey, he's a doll! Oh my god, Junior, brush your teeth! Oh, wow, that's, that's a lot coming from you, yellow teeth. Yeah, highlighter teeth. Yeah, yeah, yellow Power Ranger teeth. <laughs> Taxi teeth. Yeah, yeah, SpongeBob teeth. <laughs> yellow Teletubby teeth. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, um, um, macaroni and cheese teeth. <laughs> McDonald's Arches teeth. Yeah, yeah, uh, McDonald's French fries teeth. Uh, Bendy straw teeth. Yeah, uh, uh, the sun teeth, because the sun <laughs> is yellow. Because when you, when you draw the sun with crayons, it's yellow teeth. Number two pencil teeth. Yeah, yeah, um, um, the, 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 the lines in the road, the, 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 the yellow lines in the road teeth. Okay, you know what, guys? This is enough. Let's just go find Ken and turn him back into a human. <sighs> He's never been a human. You mean a doll? Hey, <laughs> doll. Look, guys, there's Ken. Here, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. Kenny? Guys, stop it. You scared him away. Well, what are you going to do when you get him? I don't know. I just want to get him in a cage and bring him home so I can work on changing him back. Okay, let's go get a cage. All right, Cody, we got the cage. Now you just have to put Ken in it. How do you plan on doing that, dude? Yeah. Well, Ken loves wiener, so I was thinking we could take this wiener and lure him in there with it. Ew, stop being gross, Cody. Yeah, I wouldn't use a wiener, Cody. But but Ken never says no to a wiener. But he's a cat. Well, maybe even as a cat, he might still like wieners. I would use a cat toy. What, what? You mean like this little mouse toy here? Yeah, that would work perfectly. Let's try that. Okay. And here you go. Here you go. That's your good boyfriend in the cage. In the cage, yes. yes. Get in there. Good, good. Yes! Oh, oh, it's going on. Yes. You got him. We got him! Yeah! We finally got him! I believe that works. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm going to take Ken home and run experiments on him until I can turn him back to normal. Okay. Who's that? Oh, that's my parents. I needed a ride home because I didn't want to walk home carrying a cat. Oh, okay, can I answer the door and call your mom fat? <sighs> Will that make you feel better about yourself, Junior? Yes. Fat, 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 fat. Hey, nobody can call my wife fat but me, fatty. Okay, okay, put on a few extra pounds, but who hasn't during this whole mess? So what are you doing here? The aquarium's that way. Oh, uh, we're here to pick up Cody. Oh, uh, well, come inside, your fatness. Thank you. All right, Cody, time to go home. Hurry up, Cody. You know I left the car running and gas ain't cheap. Ooh, Cody, what's in this cage? Oh, that's just Ken. He's a cat. A cat? Cody, you know I'm allergic to cats. Yeah, you know your mama get all bumpy and ugly and crusty. Oh, it reminds me of last night. 
And you know I hate bugs. But mom, I need to bring him home so I can work on turning him back into a doll. No, Cody, no cats. Cats are the devil. You know, one time I read this story about a cat that wore a hat, and he caused all kinds of mischief. Yeah, destroyed them poor white people home. He balanced the cake on a rake, Cody. And then he came back. Yeah, and it was written by a doctor. Uh, guys, Dr. Seuss was an author. Exactly, Cody. He wrote books. That's how you know he's smart. Oh, baby, tell him about the one, uh, that, that, that cat that chased the rat around the house. Oh, don't even get me started about that, Tom and Jerry. That cat knew how to use all kinds of weaponry. Yeah, he was a menace to society. Oh, man, and then there's that Garfield. Oh, don't even get me started about him. We don't have enough lasagna, Cody. Yeah, I don't want nobody to eat my lasagna. Yeah, your father loves his lasagna. You should just get a nice little doggy like that Clifford. But Clifford wasn't little, he was huge. Ooh, ooh, what about that Scooby-Doo? Oh, I love his Scooby snacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then you could get a doggy like that Air Bud. You know, he played football, among many other sports. You know, Cody, you can't keep this cat. If you want to come home, you're going to have to leave it here. But, but, Mom, I can't just leave him. Well, that's too bad, Cody. Oh, look, I'm already sneezing. All right, come on, Tyron, let's go. All right, baby. So what are you going to do now, Cody? I don't know. I can't go home, so I might as well just stay here until we figure this out. Uh, can I let Ken out of the cage? I kind of feel bad for him. Yeah, do it. Okay. Oh, man, I can't wait to eat the pizza I just warmed up. <gasps> hey, you stupid cat, get out of here. Scram! What? You eating my pizza? Oh, you know what? I'm going to call a cat exterminator. Hello? Hey there, you call an exterminator? Yeah, wait, you're a cop. Oh, yeah. Well, I exterminate things. I exterminate crime. You know, I exterminate illegal activity. Well, look, there's a cat in my kitchen, and I need you to get him out. Is he wearing a hat? No. Dang. Thought I finally got that guy. You know, he's been breaking into people's houses and messing everything all up. And then the craziest part is that he fixes everything before he leaves. He's like some kind of rogue property brothers. Well, can you get him out? Well, not if it's a regular cat, you know? I mean, besides, whenever I see him, I get all mushy. But, you know, I could evict him, but he'd have 60 days to get out. Well, do that then! Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Cat. This is your eviction notice. You have 60 days to leave the premises. Excuse, excuse me? Get, get a job, you bum. Oh, he's so cute, though. What was that? Well, I, 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 did, I did the thing, but he didn't really seem like he cared. No, no, I wanted him out today! Well, legally, he has 60 days to leave. I mean, if you want him out earlier than that, you're gonna have to call a better exterminator. Oh, God, I'll call another exterminator. So what's your plan now, Cody? Well, I still don't know why my machine didn't work, so I've been trying to fix it. Have you tried throwing it on the ground? No, I don't want to break it. Have you tried throwing it down the stairs? No, that'll break the machine. Have you tried throwing it out the window? No, Junior, I don't want to break it. Well, isn't it already broken since it turned Ken into a cat instead of a human? <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. It couldn't hurt to try. Yeah, let's go try it. All right, Cody, throw that thing down the stairs. Okay. All right, Cody, now spike it. I really don't want to break it. Spike it! Okay. All right, I wonder if it's fixed. You should try it out on Joseph. Yes! But no, Junior, we don't know if it works. Well, if it's broken, Joseph will turn into a cat. But if it's fixed, Joseph will stay the same because he's a human. Come on, dude, please. Are you sure, Joseph? Yes, I always wanted to be a cat. Now I can get away with it when I poop on the playground and cover it with sand. Huh, I used to get caught, but now if I'm a cat, I can get away with it. Okay, stand back, Junior. All right, Joseph, get ready. <laughs> Cheetos? No, 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 no. This doesn't make any sense at all. Why would Ken turn into a cat and then Joseph turn into Cheetos? Well, we did throw your machine around. No, no, that doesn't make any sense. Wait a minute. Ken turned into an orange cat and Joseph turned into an orange snack. They're both orange. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you might be onto something there, Junior. Let me write this down. All right, Cody, I made this Venn diagram to find out what they both have in common. So Ken turned into a cat and Joseph turned into Cheetos. And the only thing they have in common is they're both orange. So what does that mean? Hmm. hmm. Cody, look! The, the mascot of Cheetos is an orange cat! Oh my god, you're right! He's a cheetah! And cheetahs are orange. And Cheetos are orange. What else is orange? Basketballs. Yeah, yeah. And who plays basketball? Uh, LeBron James! LeBron James! Yeah. And he makes Sprite cranberry commercials. Yeah, and Sprite is owned by Coca-Cola. Which is a rival of Pepsi. Pepsi, yeah. And Pepsi's blue. Yeah, and we use a blue marker. And, and blue is the complimentary color to orange. Oh, okay, okay. And Pepsi owns Cheetos. Okay, all right. So what restaurants serve Pepsi? Hmm, Applebee's. Uh, KFC. Ooh, Taco Bell. Taco Bell! Taco Bell! What does Taco Bell serve? Uh, Mexican food, uh, Doritos Tacos. Doritos. Doritos. Doritos are found in the pantry! To the pantry! All right, let's see if Joseph's in here. <laughs> Joseph! What's up, dude? What's, how'd you get here? Uh, I just poofed in here, and uh, I've been eating your pop tarts. I'm sorry, dude. So wait a minute. That means your machine, Cody, it doesn't turn people into stuff. It makes them swap places with things. So Joseph and the Cheetos just swap places. Yeah, and Ken's not really a cat. He just swapped places with a cat. 
Joseph, stop touching my Pop-Tarts. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. They're my Pop-Tarts. I'm hungry. Okay, so then where's Ken? I don't know, but we have to make sure nothing happens to that cat. If the owner comes looking for the cat, maybe we can swap him for Ken. Yeah, let's do that. All right, where's the cat? Oh, hello? Oh, hello. You called a chicken exterminator? No, I called a cat exterminator. That's why I said chicken. Look, whatever. The cat is in my kitchen. I need you to get him out. What color is the chicken? It's orange. Mmm, orange chicken, my favorite. So colorful, yet so delicious. Mmm, I'll have him out as quick as you can say. Well, that was too fast. Well, hold on, let me go get him. Come on. Okay, so what's your plan? So I have chicken food underneath the box. And when the chicken go up underneath there, I'm gonna pull the string and it's gonna trap him underneath the box. Well, hurry up and trap him then. Okay, come in, chicken, 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 chicken. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I got away. That's so close. Well, that didn't work. Well, I still have a few more ideas on my sleeve. Hey, Chef Bibi, have you seen an orange? Wait, what's Jackie Chew doing here? He's here to exterminate that orange cat. Uh, you can't exterminate the orange cat. That, 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 that orange cat belongs to Cody. Yeah, yeah. Look, I don't care who it belongs to. That cat ate my pizza, so you owe me a whole pizza. And someone owes me some orange chicken. Okay, okay, everybody just calm down for a second. Yeah, you guys cannot exterminate the orange cat because Cody's great, 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 great grandfather gave him that cat. Junior, that cat would be over 100 years old. It's a very old cat. Look, I don't care if it belonged to Jesus and Jesus gave it to him. Look, if that cat's not out of my house, I'm gonna exterminate him personally. Oh, okay, Cody, uh, let's look at the cat. All right, Junior, there's the cat. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna run up and grab him, put him in the cage, and keep him safe, okay? Okay. You're gonna run up and grab him, put him in the cage, and keep him safe, and I'm gonna answer the door. Okay, got it. Come here, kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, hello? What's so. up? <gasps> Roy Gethard! <laughs> yep, that's me. Joseph, get out of here! Roy Gethard's at my door! Wait, what? Roy? Roy Gethard! No way, no way! Not Mr. Gethard! It can't be! <gasps> Mr. Gethard! Yeah, yeah, it's me. That's Roy Gethard! Oh my god, oh, oh my god. Uh, Roy, 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 is it true that you went to a Super Bowl and you didn't have to pay for anything? <laughs> that old story, yeah, it's true. Did you really walk on the field? Yup. You didn't have to pay a single dime? Nope. Not even for a drink? Nope. Oh, Roy, you're so cool. Please make me get hard like you. <laughs> Sorry, you can't get hard. You gotta be born hard. Oh, Mr. Roy, did, did you go to the Super Bowl this year? Uh, no, but last year, I went to the Super Bowl, didn't have to pay for a thing. Oh, that's Roy! Oh, oh, Roy! 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 So, so, Roy, what are you doing here? Well, I found this stupid doll in my litter box, and uh, I just came here looking for my cat, because I know your friend likes to play with this stupid doll. Oh my god, Joseph! Roy's cat's been at my house this whole time! Do we even play with Roy's cat? Roy's cat! Dude, Roy's, Roy's cat! cat! Roy's, Roy's, cat! Roy's, Roy's cat! cat! Roy's cat! Roy's cat! Roy's cat! Oh, okay, 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 your cat is here, so uh, we'll just go get it for you, uh, and... Uh, uh, do you need a new cat? I'll be your cat! Uh, no, I'm more of a dog guy. Like, my parents own a dog shampoo place. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's so cool! That doesn't even make sense! He's a cat! <laughs> Wait, wait, can you shampoo me? Because I haven't bathed in like three weeks. Uh, no, I'm good. I just want my cats. Okay, Roy, so yeah, just give me, give me, uh, Joseph, take that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, okay. Uh, oh, wait, wait, he just touched Ken, and I just got Ken! Oh, you, you touched the same thing, Roy! I touched. basically touched Roy! You oh basically touched Roy! God. Oh, man, that's so cool! Roy! Can I have my cat now? Yeah, yes, sir, Mr. Roy, anything for free. Uh, uh let's go get a cat. Okay. Cody, 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 did you get the cat? Yeah, he's in this cage. Hey, Cody, here's Ken. Oh, thanks. Let go of him. No, let it go more smell. One more smell. Oh, why are you guys being so weird? Cody, you will not believe who had Ken this whole time. Roy, get on! Hey, hey! Stop being selfish, dude! You're licking all the Roy's germs off! Let me get a lick! Well, I want a lick, too! Yeah, I'm Roy. I'm Roy. No, I'm Super Roy! Uh, guys, is anybody gonna bring me? What, Jeffy, what are you doing? Well, Jeffy, stop it. A beep, bop, boop, bop, beep, bop, boop, banana phone. Jeffy, no more banana phone. Freeze, Daddy, put your hand up. Wait, why am I doing that? No, Jeffy, stop, stop playing with bananas. <laughs> hey, Daddy, <laughs> is that a banana in my pants, or am I just happy to see you? Jeffy, stop playing, where you get all these bananas from? <laughs> I got a bunch of them, Daddy. Mario, he's just playing. Maybe he's hungry. He's making me mad. <laughs> okay, you know what? Fine, let's go get you something to eat. Let's go in the kitchen. All right, Daddy. All right, Jeffy, here's your dinner. I snuck some green beans in his macaroni and cheese. That's not a good idea, Mario. He's not even going to notice. Um, I would like to speak to the chef, please. What's wrong, Jeffy? It appears that someone has blown their nose into my macaroni and cheese because there's a whole bunch of boogers in here. Those are not boogers, Jeffy. Then what's this green stuff? It's the new zombie macaroni and cheese. A couple of the noodles are zombies. Ah! Die, zombie! Jeffy, why do you always get it? 
Oh, you fool! Jake, I am so tired of you. You're the worst son ever. Mario, calm down. No, I'm not gonna calm down. He's the worst son ever. It's so hard taking care of him. A monkey would be easier to take care of. A monkey. Don't say that, Mario. You said a monkey would be better than Jeffy. Because it would. It would probably actually listen. Look what you did, Mario. What I did? He keeps throwing his food. Well, if you didn't put green beans in his macaroni and cheese, this wouldn't have happened. He needs to eat healthy. Ugh. Wah, wah, cry, cry, wah, cry, wah, wah, cry. My daddy hates me. He said that a monkey would be better than me. Well, you know what? I'll show him. I'm going to order a monkey off Amazon Primate. And then when he gets here, I'm going to put my clothes on the monkey. And then my daddy will think that I turned into a monkey. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that must be my Amazon Primate package. I'm from Amazon Prime. Oh, yay! My package is here! Yeah, here you go. Pee pee! Hmm? Oh, man. I can't wait to open up my monkey. I'm gonna spank my monkey. Come on out, monkey! <laughs> oh, you'll do just fine. Alright, Mr. Monkey, put on my helmet and my shirt. All right, Mr. Monkey, so when my mommy and daddy come in the room to wake you up to go to school tomorrow, I want you to ruin their life, okay, Mr. Monkey? All right, what, what? All right, I'm going to be in the closet playing video games, so you just lay right here. What, what? Jeffy! Come on, Jeffy, it's time to get up and go to school. Jeffy? What, 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 what? Jeffy, you look terrible. You look like you didn't sleep at all last night. What, what, what? It's not funny, Jeffy. Come on, it's time to go to school. <laughs> Mario, Jeffy stayed up all night last night. Well, tell him he still has to go to school. You tell him that, Mario. Mario, <laughs> 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 what's wrong? That's not Jeffy, that's a monkey. What do you mean, Mario? <laughs> that's a monkey, look at him. <laughs> oh, I thought he looked different. Yeah, he looks like a monkey. Why do you think Jeffy turned into a monkey? Well, last night you did say a monkey would be easier to take care of than Jeffy. So you think God's punishing me and, and, and turned Jeffy into a monkey? I guess so, Mario. Careful what you wish for. Well, we can't send Jeffy to school like this. He's a monkey. Well, we could shave him and then make him look more human. Uh I guess we could do that. I guess go get a razor. You didn't notice how hairy he was? No, Mario. I thought he went through puberty or something. <sighs> okay, just, just go get a razor. Let's try to shave him. Okay. <sighs> Mario, I got the razor. All right, Jeffy. Hold still. Mario? Mario, are you okay? <laughs> well, I guess no shaving Jeffy then. Come on, let's go to school. <laughs> All right, craftsmen, today we're going to be learning about evolution. Evolution is how we became who we are today. And so we all started out as a little tiny goldfish, and the goldfish turned into a monkey, and then the monkey turned into a human being with a big booty. I'm talking a lot of junk in the trunk. And then there's Jeffy. Any questions, Cross? What? We used to be monkeys? That's not fair. I want to be a monkey. I want to throw my poop. Yeah, I want to throw my poop too. Hey, Jeffy, I don't think you even went through evolution because you're as dumb as a monkey. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm sure you're all wondering how a goldfish turned into a monkey. A very simple explanation, Cross. The goldfish. Jeffy, you in trouble for trying to start a food fight in class! You're suspended! I wonder how Jeffy's day at school is going. Well, since he's a monkey, it's probably not going good. <laughs> Jeffy! <laughs> is that a note from your teacher? <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it! <sighs> to whom it may concern, Jeffy threw something that looked like poop, which turned out to be chocolate, which means he was trying to start a food fight. Jeffy is suspended for three days! You got suspended, Jeffy! Oh, stop hitting me! Mario, maybe he'll behave better now that he's at home. Well, what are we supposed to do? How do we take care of a monkey? Um, well, we could feed him. What, feed him? All right, Jeffy, come on. Look, we're going to the kitchen to get you something to eat. Come on. All right, Jeffy, what do you want for dinner? A 
I thought he was gonna hit me. Oh, Mario, I know, I know. What? Bananas eat monkeys. What? Bananas eat monkeys. What, what are you talking about? Oh, wait, I have that backwards. Monkeys eat bananas, Mario. Oh yeah, they do. All right, so mm -hmm. I'll get him a banana. All right, Jeffy, here's a banana. Oh, I think he likes it, Mario. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, why'd you throw the banana? <laughs> well, maybe it was rotten, Mario. Okay, I'll get him another one. Here's another one. <laughs> oh no, Mario, now he's gonna need a bath. Oh, come on, Jeffy, let's get you a bath. You're not even hungry, probably. <laughs> Jeffy, your bath's ready. <laughs> Jeffy, get in the bathtub. <laughs> get in the bathtub. <laughs> wait, wait, stop climbing, Jeffy. Mario, maybe he's afraid of water. Jeffy, you get down here right now. What? <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh, no, Mario, that's just chocolate. Calm down. He's eating a fudge round and spitting it out. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, stop eating in the bathroom. Come down. <laughs> you're making a huge mess. Jeffy, get down right now. Oh, he dropped it all. Oh, come on, look. Let's just get out of here. Okay. I don't even know what to do anymore. Oh, what was that for? Mario, maybe we should get some help. Like who? I don't know. Maybe someone who knows a lot about monkeys. What, like a monkeyologist? <gasps> yes, a monkeyologist. You're so smart, Mario. I was being sarcastic. I don't even think that's a real thing. I'm going to go call him right now. <sighs> At least he's sleeping. Hey there, someone called a monkeyologist off Craigslist? Oh, I did, I did. A monkeyologist? Is that even a real thing? Standing right here, mate. Our son Jeffy turned into a monkey overnight. <laughs> what was he jumping on the bed? What? Well, the doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So if we can find out if he was jumping on the bed, then we can conclude that he is in fact a monkey. He is a monkey, look, he's a monkey. Jumping on the bed confirmed. Well, no, look, this is what happened. Jeffy was acting bad and I said a monkey would be easier to take care of than you and then he turned into a monkey. Well, be careful what you wish for, mate. One time I told my wife that a giraffe could cook better than her and you know what happened? She turned into a giraffe? No, she died in a car accident. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Why are you calling him honey? That's ah, not your fault. She was blind. She was blind from birth. Shouldn't have been driving anyway. Well, look, can you help turn my son back from a monkey back to my son? I'm a monkeyologist, not a magician, mate. Well, then what do you do? I can tell you some monkey facts. What, monkey facts? Yeah. <sighs> okay, tell us some monkey facts. All right, hold on. Let me get my phone. What, your phone? Yep. Hey, Siri, tell me some monkey facts. What, you, you don't even know them off the top of your head. You have to Google it. I, I can do that. All right, it says here, monkeys are omnivores. What? You're not even a monkeyologist, so you're saying if I grab my phone and I Google monkey facts, I'm a monkeyologist? Also, monkeys are as smart as a toddler. You just get out of here, you're not even a real monkeyologist. All right, I'll send you my bill in the mail. <sighs> that was a complete waste of time, we didn't get anywhere with that. Mario, maybe we should call a wizard and he can turn Jeffy back to normal. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll call a wizard, I'll, I'll call Chris Tallballs. Hey there, it's Crystal Balls, and I brought my Crystal Ball, and what can I do for you this evening? Well, Chris, my son Jeffy turned into a monkey, and I was wondering if you'd turn him back. Hmm, 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Mm -hmm. And you'll turn him back? Yep. Here's 20 bucks. All right, all right, let me turn my ball on. Hmm, boo, 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 boo. All right, Crystal Ball. Turn Jeffy back into a human. What? Nothing happened. No, nope, just just keep keep looking. Just keep watching. It'll be coming any minute. No, nope. should be there. Hey, Mario! He just scammed us out of twenty dollars. Oh, he keeps scamming us. Oh, I miss Jeffy. Me too. What are we gonna do? That sounds like Jeffy Mario. It does. Wait a minute. No, 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 get up, no, oh, man, this game is horse poop, Jeffy, what are you doing in the closet, uh, oh, I was playing Fall Guys, Jeffy, where'd you get that monkey from, oh, I ordered him off Amazon Primate, I wanted to show you what it was like, because you said that you'd rather have a monkey instead of me, that is it, Jeffy, you are so grounded, hold on, dad, I'm getting a phone call, what, ring, 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 but in a phone, no, but, are you kidding me? Homework during spring break? 500 pages of homework. Yay. Here you go. I don't want to hear it, Press. Stop complaining. You can't bribe me with your good looks, teacher. I'm out of here. Homework during spring break just isn't fair. It's supposed to be vacation. What's wrong, Jenny? It's just homework. Learning is power. 
There's your homework. I really have to do every single page? Yes, because if you don't, you fail. <sighs> this is going to be the worst spring break ever. Yeah, come on, Junior. It's not going to be that bad. Okay, I'll do it myself. Here we go again. Uh, worst spring break ever. Hey, Junior, how about we put all of our homework into paper shredder? Heck yeah. Let's shred this stupid, ugly homework. Hey, Cody, you want to shred your homework? No, you guys are going to fail. What? You actually like doing homework? Yeah, I'm already done. You finished that quick? <laughs> if I had a nickel for every time I heard that one. But yeah, it was easy. Well, can I copy your answers? Yeah, sure. I don't even want to do that. That's going to take forever. Okay. I can't believe the teacher gave us homework during spring break. I know, Junior. I hate our teacher. I wish I could call him the stupidest, meanest names ever and not get in trouble. Yeah, I, I wish I could send him a long text message and call him a bunch of names and then, and then not get in trouble. Well, you could always just write up a mean, angry text and then not send it to him. What's the point not sending it? He won't see it. Well, you would type out all the stuff you want to say to him, you know, just to get all that anger out of your system, and then just delete it before you send it. Oh, so it's like it's like, it's like I sent it to him, but I didn't really send it to him. Yeah, exactly. Well, I want to do that. Already on it, Junior. Ooh, what, what are you saying? All right, so far I got, Dear Jackie Chew, it's Jeffy. You are a poo-poo head. I wish you were not our teacher anymore. You suck at teaching, and you smell like a dirty bathroom. Ooh, t t tell him, tell him, tell him I think he's ugly or, or he sucks or something. Okay, I have, Junior also hates you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. T -t -t tell, him, t -t tell him Cody hates him too. Wait, wait, but that's not actually accurate. Well, 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 wait, we're not actually sending it, so, so, so what's, what's the meanest thing, what's the meanest thing you can say about the teacher? Uh, I guess you're right. Uh, tell him he's stinky. Yeah, yeah, stinky. Yeah, say stinky. Tell, tell him that he's stinky. I want him to know that he's stinky. Are, are you gonna write that? Write down how stinky he is. I want him to know that I think he's stinky. Say that, those exact words, that he's stinky. Okay. Cody also thinks you're stinky. Yeah, yeah I do. Uh, okay, 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 what else, what else are you saying? Uh, I also have, you're ugly, stupid, and dumb. Yeah. You have a PhD in sucking. Oh yeah, I like that, I like that. Let, 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 me, let, let me read it, let me read it. I also put F dish homework. Uh, Jeffy? What? Why is the text blue? Well, I don't even know. Junior, did, did he send that text? I think he said it. He said it, Cody. But, Jeffy, you can't send that text. We're going to get suspended. Yeah, why, why, why would you send it? I don't know. I didn't mean to. Oh, my God. We, we, we have to stop the, the teacher before he sees that text. J junior, Junior, I, I can't get suspended. I've never been suspended in my entire life. Well, we're not going to get suspended because the teacher's not going to see this text. We're going to break into the teacher's house, and we're going to stop. We're going to grab his phone, and we're not going to let him see it, okay? Well, junior, what are the odds that he hasn't read it yet? Well, well, it says it's delivered. It hasn't said he read it yet. So, so let's go to his house and just hope he doesn't read it yet, okay? Okay. Well, let's go, guys. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're at the teacher's house. All we have to do is go inside the house, grab his phone, and delete the text before he ever sees it. Well, how do we know if he's even home? Well, if he's not home, we'll just wait in the closet until he goes to sleep and grab his phone. Okay, but how do we get in the house? We just go in. But it's probably going to be locked, Junior. People don't lock their doors. Of course they do. People... <laughs> what? It's unlocked. Oh. See, Cody? Okay, maybe this will be easy. All right, Jeffy, just, just open the door, and don't touch anything, don't break anything. Okay. Hey. Let's go. That was sick. What just happened? I don't know. Why do you think he has all these dominoes lined up? I don't know. Do you think he has kids? I don't know, Junior. Do you think he's home? Well, apparently not, because he didn't come running when a thousand dominoes just fell over. Let's see where it went to. Yeah, let's, let's go follow him. Okay. Uh, Cody, it leads to this. What the? If this paper is wet, someone broke in? Junior, this is his security system. His security system? Yeah, it's like some kind of weird Chinese trap for burglars. Well, what's it do? Well, I think whenever he comes home and he sees all his dominoes fell down and his paper's wet, he's gonna know someone broke in. Wh what do we do? I don't know, Junior. He's clearly a lunatic. I mean, what does he do? Set this up every time he leaves the house? I think we should just leave. Cody, if we leave, then we're gonna get suspended. And you can't get suspended. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna reset up the dominoes, remake a piece of paper that says that, and refill up a couple of brown liquid. He'll never know that someone came in his house. But Junior, that's gonna take forever. He'll be home by the time we're done. The more talking you do, the more time you can be setting up dominoes. So start setting up dominoes. Yeah. All, right, all right, Jeffy, you're gonna fill up a couple of brown liquid. All right, I do have to go to the bathroom, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna remake this piece of paper. Almost done. Hey, Cody, is this good? Hold on, Junior. I just have a few more of these I have to do. I just gotta get this place ready. Right. Yeah! Check this, Cody. Is this good? It's fine. It's a... Wait, what? 
Do you forget the E in someone? No, there's an E, look. No, I see there's an E at the end, but you forget the second E. There's no second E. Yes, there is. There's supposed to be an E right in the middle. No, it's someone. There's only one E. No, Judy, there's an E in the middle after some. That's what makes it someone and not Simone. Well, I'm not redoing it. And I'm not redoing the dominoes. Well, let's go, let's go check on Jeffy. <sighs> Fine. All right, Jeffy, do you have your brown liquid? Sure do. That's a brown solid. That's a poop. You just pooped in a cup. Yeah? It was supposed to be a liquid. Oh, well, we can put water in there and then put it in the blender. No, no, this whole plan sucks. We should just leave and get suspended. Cody, we're not getting suspended. We put too much time and effort in this plan. Well, how do we even know he hasn't seen the text yet? Well, he hasn't called us or replied, so you would think if he saw it, he'd be mad. Well, what are we going to do, Junior? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to clean up the dominoes, and we're going to make it look like that he thinks that he didn't set up the security system before he left. Junior, you don't spend as long as I just spent setting up dominoes and forget you did it. All right, look, this is what we do. We have to have a chance. So we're going to clean up the dominoes, and we're going to make him think he forgot to set up a security system. Fine. <laughs> All right, Cody, we cleaned up all the dominoes. Yeah, Junior, I don't think this is gonna work. It's gonna work, Cody. He's gonna think he forgot to set up his security system. He's not just gonna think he forgot. It takes a really long time to do something like that. Cody, you're worrying about nothing. Junior, -jun 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 he's here. He's here, we have to hide. Hide, hide, hide. What the? Did I forget to set up my security system again? Hmm, guess so. See, Cody, it worked. Wow. All right, time to cook dinner. Hmm, now where'd my dinner run off to? Uh, Dinner! Dinner, where are you? Oh, there you are, Dinner! Come in, Dinner! Come in, Dinner! Oh, it's some good Dinner! Oh, it's some good Dinner! Come here! Come here, Dinner! Come get the treat, Dinner! Come get the treat, Dinner! Alright, boy, I'm not gonna eat this treat! Alright, well, it looks like I'm having rice and egg rolls for Dinner! But first, I need to sing the egg roll song to praise the egg roll gods. I rock it an egg roll, I rock it an egg roll, in my mouth, in my mouth. Yummy, yummy egg roll, yummy, yummy egg roll, in my mouth, in my mouth. Hmm, now let's enjoy some egg rolls. Junior, he's eating, and he left his phone on the kitchen counter. We should go grab it. Guys, I found his fortune cookie, I'm gonna eat it. You make a lot of noise. Shut up, Jeffy. Jeffy, shut up. What was that noise? Oh, that was close. Too close. Sorry, guys. Ah! Do not get that fortune cookie. All right, Cody, I think you should go get the phone. But me? Why? Because it was your idea to send that text message. I didn't say send it. But it was your idea to type it in the first place, so you go get the phone. <sighs> Fine. Yum, 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 yum. Mm, yummy egg roll. Mm, 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 mm. What was that noise? Guys, I got the phone. You got it? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Cody, delete the text. Okay, and done. It's deleted? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's just put the phone back and he'll never notice. Okay. No, oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did he even have time to do this? It's for us! Uh, you're breaking into my house! Because the paper's wet, which means you're breaking into my house! No, 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 we're not breaking in. We, we were walking outside and we found your phone on the ground and we wanted to return it to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, so do you do this every time? Yep, I set it up every single time I shut the door. It's my security system. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. Wait just a minute. Do you kids mind helping me? Because they don't taste good. They're not supposed to taste good. They're crayons, Jeffy. But Daddy, if you're not supposed to eat them, then why is this one called macaroni and cheese? It tastes nothing like macaroni and cheese. It's not supposed to taste like macaroni and cheese, Jeffy. That's the color of macaroni and cheese. It's the name of the color. It's not candy. Well, okay, if it's not candy, Daddy, then why is this one called cotton candy? It literally has candy in the name. Because it's the color of cotton candy. It's the name of the color. You're not supposed to eat crayons. They're not good for you. Okay, well, if they're not good for you, then why is this one called Granny Smith apple? It tastes more like Granny Granny Smith's butt. Because it's a crayon, Jeffy. Granny Smith, Mr. Granny Smith's apples are green, and that's the color of green. All right, well then let me go out on a limb here and say that this one right here called wild strawberry doesn't taste anything like strawberry. It's not gonna taste like strawberries. They're crayons. You're not supposed to eat them, Jeffy. All right, well then you're just gonna sit here and let me eat expired crayons? They're not expired. You're not supposed to eat them, Jeffy. Mommy, do something about him. Jeffy, I will buy you some crayons at the store. What the, 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 Thank you, Mommy. And Daddy, if I had a middle finger, ooh, I'd be showing it.
Hey, Daddy, when's your mommy gonna be back with my crayons? I'm starting to get hungry. Jeff, you're not gonna eat the crayons. And she is taking a long time. Let me call her and see where she's at. All right, Jeffy, it's ringing. F yeah, Daddy. Hey, baby. Hey, are you on your way home yet? Jeffy, stop it. Yeah, I'm on the way to the car right now. Oh, you're coming to me! Come on! Come on! What's going on? Baby? Why are you screaming? What's happening? Hold on! Jeffy, I, I, I think she's been taken. Get it! We have to call the cops. Something, something happened to mommy. Uh, hello? Hey there, you called the cops? Yes, officer, it's awful. I was on the phone with my girlfriend and she started screaming. Oh, tell me about it. My wife is always screaming at me. Just yak, 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 right in my ear all day. No, no, no. She started screaming at me and then she dropped the phone and disappeared. Oh, lucky. I wish my wife would just drop the phone and disappear. You know, instead she's got to yell at me all day like, hey guy, did you know you left the lights on in the kitchen? You're going to jack up the electric bill. And I'm like, I pay the electric bill, Karen. Of course I know. No, no, no. This is serious. I think someone took my wife. Oh, lucky. I wish somebody would take my wife. You know, just take her away forever. and Save me some trouble. No, no, I need your help! Well, why? Help with what? Celebrating? No, no, I, Celebrating! I don't want to celebrate. I want you to help me find my wife! Okay, fine. Where did you last see her? Well, she, she said she was going to the grocery store. Which one? I, I don't know. She just said she was going to the grocery store. Just a grocery store? Okay, I'll check every grocery store in town then. Okay. No, no, no I'm not going to do that. That's ridiculous. Well, then how are we going to find her? I don't know. Uh, do, do you track her location on your phone or something? No, we don't share locations. Oh, lucky. Man, my wife is always tracking my location. She's like, guy, why are you stopped at that red light? Guy, why are you at the police station? Are you cheating on me? I'm like, no, Karen, I work at the police station. Okay, well, what do we do? How do we find her? Okay, I'm going to tell you what you do. Celebrate what? because she's gone forever. You're free. You're free. Enjoy your life. Go party. Me, I gotta go get back to my ugly wife. You, you're free. Enjoy it. What do I? What do I? Do? Oh, what do I do? <laughs> Shut up back there. All right, boss. I got the girl. What's next? Stop right there. Oh no! It's Super Big D. Aha! Windshield wipers! His only weakness! Sorry about that, boss. Super Big D showed up and tried to stop me, but I took care of him. You can't get rid of me. What? <laughs> hey, little lady. Super Big D, you saved me! <laughs> I always do. Now let's take you home. Oh, my hero! Oh, man, the cops didn't do anything. What am I gonna do? Whoosh! Now you're home. Safe and sound, baby. Mom! Baby, are you okay? Yes, he saved me. Wait, who's this guy? Mario, this is my ex-boyfriend, Super Big D. Nice to meet you, little man. Super Big D. Yeah, I started dating him after Super D. Come on, baby. Let's not talk about trash. You know I'm bigger than him. Why are you called Super Big D? Look, I don't even know myself. She started calling me that one day after I got out of the shower. She's like, hey, Super Big D. I'm like, no, my name's Bryce. Why are you missing a leg? Mario, that's rude. Don't worry, baby. I'll tell him. You see this girl right here? I gave her every inch of me, and I would give an arm and a leg for her. And I literally gave a leg. She was tied to a railroad track, and I tried to save her. But right before I left, a train ripped it off. So now I'm missing a leg. It's okay, Mario. He has two more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. They used to call me Tripod in high school. Well, what happened tonight? Mario, I was leaving the grocery store, headed to the car, when someone grabbed me and threw me in the trunk of their car. Luckily, Super Big D came and saved me. Yeah, I came all right. I came as fast as I could. Like, I wasn't even thinking about me. It was all her. Like, my mind was focused on her. I came in seconds. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can leave. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you? I'm her husband. Wait, husband? You're married? Freaky freak? The freakiest girl in the world? Settle down? Can't be. Well, yep, yep, she settled down. She's married, so you can leave. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this, this is incredible. It, this can't be because she's a freak. The thing she did. Oh, oh, God. Okay, leave, leave. You can leave. She, you, thank you for saving her. It was really nice meeting you. You can leave. I just want to tell you one more time. You're lucky. I'm uh, talking about lucky. Okay. <laughs> lucky. Yes. Lucky. Uh, I, I sure am. You, you can leave. Wow. Leave. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you need me to come again, I'll be here whenever you need me. Uh, leave. <sighs> Mario, what are you doing? Filing for a divorce. Mario, stop it! I can't deal with your ex-boyfriends anymore! That was so long ago! His name is Super Big D. What's next? Super Massive Huge Long D? But I'm married to you, Average D. I mean, Mario. Jeffy, what are you doing? I'm looking for a new crayon to eat. Stop eating your crayons! Alright, well, would you rather me break them instead? What? What? Whoops. Stop breaking your crayons. Whoops. Stop breaking them! 
That one slipped. Stop it! All right, dang it. Well, there's 120 of them in here, so I'll be here all day. Stop it! Would you rather me eat them or break them? Neither. All right, eat them it is. Baby, can you get him something to eat? Oh, no, I'm not leaving the house again today. I'm traumatized. Me too. I saw Super Big D. What? What? What's going on? Mario, I think he's choking on a crayon. Why are you eating the crayons, Kevin? Help! Help! Someone help! Ugh. Hey, babe. Heard you calling for me. What do you want me to do to you? I want someone to help me save my son. He's choking on a crayon. <laughs> okay, but what do you want me to do to you, though? Ugh. I heard you screaming, so I came as fast as I could. And then I came here. Super Big D, what are you doing here? Wait, Super Tiny D, what are you doing here? Okay, it's Super D, all right? Get that right. Look, nobody cares. I came here because she was screaming, and when she screams like that, she's screaming for some Super Big D. Boys, boys, help me save my son! Sh 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 shut up, I think you should leave. No, you leave! Well, you wanna fight, bro? No, we can fight, we can fight. Fight, well, fight. Uh, 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 Get out of here, get out of here. Stop it, stop it, stop it! Stop it. Wait, wait, are those divorce papers? Wait, you're getting divorced? Dibs, dibs, I called dibs. No, no, I want dibs. No, no, She's I mine. Said dibs, I said it first. Well, whatever. Look, how about we let her choose? What, you want some super tiny D in your life, or you need some super big D? I, I want someone to save my son! I have two legs. Oh, well, I got two legs! Oh, you want to fight? Look, we can take this in the hallway and we can fight. How about that? Oh, that sounds good, but let's do it. Well, let's do it. Superhero fight. <laughs> All right, let's fight. Winner gets the girl. Let's shake on it. Uh, cheap shot. Yeah. Owie. All right, that's gonna cost you. What? This. Uh, well, watch out. For what? This. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, oh. Uh, 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 You are too, okay. and I work out. Yeah, I can see that. You have really nice abs. Thank you. You, you do too. Uh, thanks. You, you mind if I touch them? Sure, if I can touch yours. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, oh man, those are nice. Those are really. Oh, oh. Wait, what's going on? Oh, hold on, I'm feeling something here. Oh, what are you feeling? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, this isn't right. Oh. Hey, look at those cups. Ooh, nice cups. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Stop, that hurts. That's not fair. Look, and no weapons. We can't use weapons. Okay. And no knives either. Yeah, okay, you're right, you're right. We have to use our fists and our sexy bodies. But bro, like, why are we doing this? I don't know. I, I mean, look at us. We're, we're ripped. Girls would love us. Yeah, yeah, they would. Yeah. Why are we fighting over one chick? Y you want to get a milkshake or something? You know what? I want to get a milkshake. <laughs> okay, bro. <laughs> Let's get a milkshake. You know, bro, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. No, more than friends. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Uh, what just happened? I don't know, Mario, but look at Jeffy. He's not moving. Okay, we have to call a doctor, someone that will really help him. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor, my son choked on a crayon. What flavor? What, what do you mean, what flavor? What flavor crayon? Hurry up, this is an emergency. Uh, how do I know what flavor? What color, what flavor? Hurry up. It, it might have been macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese, that is a delicious crayon, but only when it's fresh, though. Uh, crayons don't taste like anything, they taste like crayons. Oh man, he's got 120 crayons. Oh, you could feed a village with this many crayons. Are you gonna save my son or not? Well, I'm not gonna give milk to melt to a boy, because that's icky. And also, it says in my free nump, I'm not allowed to cheat on my wife. Well, you're not gonna be cheating on your wife. You're gonna be saving my son. Mm, I don't know. That's kind of iffy, but I'll see what I can do. Hold on. Oh, let's reach in here. Oh, oh, that's gross. Oh, that is really gross. Oh, oh, hold, hold on. I think I got it. Oh. <laughs> what? Mmm, mac and cheese. Oh, and it's still fresh, too. Oh. Mm, I'm gonna take this as payment. Oh, Jeffy, you're okay. Thank God you're okay. Did you learn your lesson not to eat crayons? Yeah, Danny, but you just better feed me good food from now on. We'll make you real macaroni and cheese. 